ZANU PF Secretary Local Government and Housing Superman Duanzira has weighed into the ongoing kerfuffle around clamping and penalties in the city of Harare. He acknowledged that the city of Harare was looking at revenue streams and said the fee paid for parking at two US dollars was fair. If you want to raise money, don't abuse motorists, Mandiwanzara said. If you want to raise money, charge a fair amount, which they do. The Nyanga South MP then went further. Allow people to pay somewhere or employ more people who can be paid. The current situation is that you have more people who are clamping vehicles than people who are ready to receive the $2. The non-availability of parking attendants to receive money has been a major concern raised by residents in Harare. Manduanzara then suggested that there was something else going on. It gives the impression the local authorities are to get more money from motorists by charging $130 US as a penalty for being claimed, he continued. Nowhere else in the world do you have penalties for $130 US for an infraction of $2 US. It's unbelievable. It's clearly a scheme, and that scheme is unacceptable to us, Mandiwanzara added. His sentiments around the fine by banker Nigel Chanakira, who fell foul of the city on Wednesday and tweeted, climbed in Harare while in a meeting after I failed to see the parking attendant to pay, and I was stuck for a solid two hours sorting this out. City parking asks for 130 US dollars. The fine is totally disproportionate to the offense. I'm perplexed that we can have such unjust city bylaws. He called on the mayor Jacob Mafume to deal with issues, also saying that many who are being penalized $130 US do not even earn as much in a month. The mayor has called for a press conference with City Parking, the company responsible for collecting revenue to deal with concerns.